All right, so this is my 2006 Volvo XC90. It has the five cylinder engine in it. So what I'm gonna show in this video is how to add some uh, R134 refrigerant, which is the coolant uh, fluid for the uh, air conditioner. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to do, but there are a few things you need to know and a few precautions you need to take. So the first thing you're gonna need uh, is the material which is these cans of refrigerant. You, this particular one I got at Walmart uh, for about $5 a can. Uh, they have other ones available at the auto parts stores or at um, discount stores like Walmart. They range in price anywhere from five to as much as $20. and kind of depends on if you buy into all the uh, marketing hype as to whether the same can is worth $20 or not, but I'll let you make that decision. What you'll also need is a um, recharging hose and if you don't have one of these, the good news is you can get this and this together as a kit for about $15. Again, Walmart was where I saw that. Um, they usually come with this mechanism, which has got a gauge, a place for this to mount, and then also the little top that's gonna go onto the refill um, outlet on the vehicle. Now, two other things you're gonna need are um, a socket wrench to, in case the little cap on the uh, charging outlet is, uh, is too tight. Uh, 19 millimeter is what we need. Um, if you don't have a 19 millimeter socket or you don't have a socket wrench extension like this, you might be able to get by with um, just a regular old small uh, adjustable wrench, um, but, but this, this makes it really handy. And then lastly, you need some kind of eye protection. Eye protection is always recommended uh, when working with refrigerant. All right, I'm gonna put my eye protector on. And then what I'm gonna show you is the exact location. So we're on the passenger side of the vehicle. As I take you inside under the hood, right next to the spot where, oh, we've got like these pulleys, the belts right here. You'll see down here, there's a little hexagonal, or maybe it's octagonal. It um, uh, looks like a, like a big nut here. It says MAX 6 nanometers or 6 NM on there. I think that's a torque rating. Anyway, that underneath that cap is where the refill uh, outlet is for our um, refrigerant. That's why I said you might need one of these because that might be on there a little bit tight. All right, so I'm gonna take that guy off of there. And also, just in case I don't mention it later, when you put it back on, it doesn't need a lot of uh, torque to get it tight, just so it's snug. All right, so I'm gonna take that off of here. And then the other thing you need to know is that when you do your recharge, see there it is, that little brass fitting there. When you do your recharge, your uh, vehicle needs to be running with the air conditioner on full blast. Okay, so temperature dials turned down all the way and the, uh, the fan turned up. Okay, so I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna go start the vehicle and I'm gonna get ready to do the, um, the Freon um, uh, adding. All right, now that I've got my vehicle running, I'm going to take and screw the can on to the bottom of the dispenser gauge combination hose unit. I'm also going to take this end, which is kind of like, almost like the, the valves they use on the bicycles, like a giant Schrader valve, and I'm gonna reach down in carefully because I've got a spinning pulley right next to where, my, uh, where this valve is. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the trigger and let that gas flow out of there. And as the gas flows out of there, two things are gonna happen. One is I should start to see this needle go up a little bit. The second thing that's gonna happen is that the can's gonna get really cold. Well, it's gonna get cold. And, um, and the reason I'm shaking it is, I don't know if that's part of the instructions anymore, but when I was a kid, that was the big thing you were supposed to do is shake the Freon can as you as you dispense it. I don't even know if that's true anymore. Anyway, this little process right here could take up to about, oh, maybe three minutes. And as you get done, two things you'll notice. One is the can will begin to feel very light and you won't hear anything shaking in there. And two is that cold temperature that was present while you were releasing the gas or the liquid into the system, that coldness will go away. So once the can stops being cold, that's a pretty good clue that the that the, uh, all the liquid has been emptied into the system. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is shut the vehicle off. I'll remove the hose. I'll put the cap back on. Don't put the cap back on while the engine's still running because there's a spinning pulley in there which might um, 
you know, burn your hand or bump your hand. And then um, I might add another can if I need to, but otherwise I should have a little bit colder air. Okay, thanks for watching.